Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Vormithrax here with some more Cataclysm Dark Days ahead. Today we're continuing our Gourmand Challenge. We started on Friday, and it started as a random random challenge, and the idea was to uh, pick a random character, random scenario, fire it up, see what kind of world conditions and situation we had, and uh, what kind of character we had, and then figure out a theme from there. So we uh, got this particular character created. We've got Timmy Salmon, and he is a Gourmand. This is a random character. Um, we had no skills and just the Gourmand and strong back trait to uh, start with. So, and some okay stats, nothing too horrible. Um, 10, 7, 7, 10 is our base. And uh, we made up a challenge based on that. We're going to kind of focus the challenge on the gourmand trait. Um, that reads, you eat faster and can eat and drink more than anyone else. You also enjoy more food, or food more. Delicious food is better for your morale. Uh, yeah, really, really good for your morale. Um, I'm really trying to take advantage of the really high focus I keep ending up with uh, for getting skill ups. Uh, and you don't mind unsavory meals as much. Activate to skip the prop for overeating. So... We're going to take that, and uh, we've got a challenge created from it. So, as always in the chat, you can use exclamation point challenge to get the details. So, for this gourmand challenge, it reads, Vorm plays as a gourmand who is searching out rare and wondrous ingredients for his ultimate meal. Can he find Marlos berries, Triffid heart, razor claw eggs, royal jelly, and ant eggs to finish his recipe? So, that's going to be our win condition. We're going to be going out into the dangerous, dangerous cataclysm world and seeing if we can track down each of those... Uh, ingredients for the recipe we want to create. Fairly dangerous items, um, kind of hard to come across, a few of them especially, and I've never actually seen a Triffid Heart, so I've never actually killed Triffids, uh, Triffid Queens that is, so that'll be interesting. Uh, Marlos Berries I know where to get, Razor Claw Eggs I know where to get, they're just a little rare to track down, and Royal Jelly we got a few options, and Ant Eggs, uh, we definitely know where to find those as well once we track down some ant uh, ant hills. But any of those could definitely get us killed. So it'll be interesting to see what we can do there. Uh, so there's our character sheet. And the other things you can do in chat, you can do settings to see the world settings. I've got this one set pretty generic. Um, so we've got... Uh, what do I got? Wander spawns and random NPCs and static NPCs on. Z levels are turned on. And the tile set is the uh, MSX++ Dead People tile set. Um... And then the mod list is pretty much my standard mod list. Nothing too exciting there. Pretty much the ones I always run. Uh, I do have safe auto dock turned off, so we've got to do it the hard way if we're going to plan on doing any CBMs. So we'll see if we can manage to do that, but uh, it's kind of doubtful given the current implementation uh, and our stats and traits and so on. So we'll see, though. All right, so here we are in our base. We're hanging out in our cleared fire station. Uh, we're doing really well, so we got a lot of progress in the first episode on Friday. Uh, I'm thinking of moving all of this gear from here out to the main bay. That way I can open the door here and be able to use the daylight. Uh, we tracked down a engine crane, so that's awesome. And we also have a working Humvee that's in really good shape. So... Uh, we got 10% gas or diesel in it right now, 6.6 .6 liters, so we definitely need to find some more diesel before I make any more trips in it. Uh, but beyond that, it's actually in really good shape, and I love Humvees. I, I almost always end up with a Humvee if I have a choice when I'm doing uh, traveling around in the game world. I look for these really, really hard. Um, they're just really awesome. The size and the capacity and what you can do with them is uh, just awesome. So... That's kind of our situation. Here's the map that we're dealing with. So we did start down to the south here. Uh, just outside the Hazardous Waste Sarcophagus is where we started. And then we came across, came north. There's unfortunately a fungal bloom right here, in the uh, right on the outside edge of Westminster. So we had to leave there. Found another city, Battleboro, and we've been pretty much setting up here. So I haven't seen any fungal in the area, so I'm not sure how far the fungal presence is. And then just last thing we did last episode was kind of scout out this area up here. And I'm thinking that's going to be my target for today. Uh, we've got a bookstore up there I need to get to, a school that has going to have a lot of books. Um, there's an electronics store I'd like to get into. So there's a few targets up there. A doctor's office, medical gear, and books are pretty much my two primary focuses right now. Um, we're doing really well otherwise. So we've got a full set of turnout gear and... Quite a bit of the red, the tools. We've got uh, full welder, full uh, forge, um, a lot of good stuff. So, <laughs> yep, a big owl. Marlos berries are from the fungals. You gotta pretty much go right up into the tower area and uh, 
to get the fungal or the mar marlos berries. So it'll be entertaining. Um, we'll see what we can do to uh, try to get that without getting fungal infection. Um, there's a few possibilities, but that's pretty much where we're at. So we've got this area pretty well cleared. There are some zombies out this direction, but we've got most of this section fairly well cleared. Um, each time I've stepped out of the fire station, I keep having more and more zombies. So we haven't completely depleted the wander spawn count in the area, but uh, we'll just keep clearing it. So far, we haven't had any problems. Uh, as you can see, our stats are okay. So we've got a little bit of damage. I can't remember where I'm at in my day-night sleep cycle. Um, no idea. I remember we came back from our run, and I unloaded the vehicle, and that's where we kind of stopped. Uh, the scouting run was the last thing we did. So... I'm going to do some things around the base here real quick, and I do need to go out and track down some more diesel fuel, because um, my goal is to get the vehicle... Well, I'm actually... I'm, I'm a little undecided whether I actually want to take the vehicle. I might just do a uh, long run up to Marion and St. John area there, pulling the cart behind me. A little dangerous. Um, I much prefer to travel in the vehicle, but we'll kind of see. I'll, I'll try to poke around and see if we can track down some local diesel fuel. Um, but beyond that... I don't know. I really need books. Uh, I'm really, really short on books and uh, a few other supplies. So we'll kind of see. Let's poke our head outside and actually let's open the main door. All right. It's just afternoon. Anything out front? Uh, I saw a zombie for a second there on my list. There he is. Where are you at, zombie? Oh, way over to the west. All right, so way over here. Um, yeah, let's go take care of him. I want to make sure my area stays pretty clear. Hey there, zombie. Come get me. We'll do it the safe way. We'll bring him up into the vehicle. Come on. There you go. Uh, I don't care about that. Okay, so we got the build or the local area clear. Nothing off that direction either. All right. Oh yeah, we also have a solar vehicle out front, so hopefully I'll be able to use it to uh, get some solar power generating. Um, there's a whole bunch of things I need to get done, and it's going to take some time to do. I'm trying to decide just what order I want to try to do things in. Here's our gear, by the way. So we're in a full set of turnout gear. We've got fitted uh, turnout trousers and fitted turnout coat, and then a few other random pieces. Uh, before I fired up the camera, I did throw on some flame-resistant gloves and socks. I added those to my my gear list. But other than that, uh, this is pretty much all we're doing. We're rocking the fire axe as our primary weapon, and it's actually doing really, really well for us. So we're going to keep up with it until we track down something better. Um, if I decided to take the time, I've actually got everything I need to get my full metalworking setup going. Uh, I just need to grab some uh, steel frames from some of the vehicles nearby, and we'd be able to uh, get all the metalworking tools put together, and then I could get some good weapons and all the other functions and features you can get out of the metalworking stuff. Takes a bit of time, though. Um, trying to remember, actually, what's my food status? Uh, didn't I kill a moose? I killed, uh, I killed a couple of good animals, didn't I? Did I... I don't remember if I actually got the food cooked or preserved or what I did. 36 chunks of meat laying there. That's right. All right, so... I don't have any kind of food preservation set up yet either. Um, do I relocate all my stuff out here? Let's get all this crap out of the vehicle bay here. All right. Oh, that's right. All right, need to get a good mop. This will dry out eventually, but uh, get a mop, and I'll get all this mopped up. So I'm thinking of getting my base set up kind of right in this area. we got lots of room, but uh, as you can see, I've got light when I open the doors during the daytime that I want to take advantage of. Um, what's next? Let's, let's do this. I don't want to keep dinking around with this. I just want to get it done. So let's leave the cart over here for the moment. Alright, this is going to take a bunch of game time to do, and we'll probably get tired or sleepy before we finish this, but... 
Oh yeah, lots of items moving. What is it taking like an hour per space? 15.09 to... Oops. 45, eh, 35 minutes or so per space <laughs> because of the number of items I'm shuffling. Alright, so we've got our massive pile of things just sitting right here. I don't think I can grab the bed, right? Yep, can't grab the bed. I'll have to craft up another bed, and... Oh, I can grab the oven. Alright. Yeah, I didn't want that. Grab. Um... That's kind of messy, but that's fine. We'll put that right there. All right, it's pretty much the beds. The only thing I need to redo. Let's go ahead and take this down. And let's move this down. Really? What's it? What's it colliding with? <laughs> really? Because I've got the liquids here. <laughs> that's funny. All right, it won't move because it's got the liquids in that space. Can I craft a mop? Uh, I just need a long string. I don't have any string here. Did I use all my string? I know I've got rope. Alright, grab that rope. And butcher... Uh, no, actually. Actually, I think it does one at a time. Hey. Yes. Butcher it. Alright. Give me that mop. <laughs> <laughs> activate A, activate A. Okay, got our base cleaned up. <laughs> Now, let's try this again. Grab. Alright, so we've got our oven, our firewood source. Um, let's put... I'll end up sorting all this stuff out. Eventually. We'll even use the zones. Um, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's add a zone. Unsorted. And let's make it from here all the way down to here. And we'll, uh, let's see, actually, do I want to do this? think about how I'm going to do this. This is going to take me a few minutes. If you haven't seen this, I've got a quick tip video up on my YouTube site that uh, shows what this is and how it works and all that. You'll see how it works here in just a minute. Um, how do I want to organize this? I want food items there. Um, let's see. How else am I going to do this? the books nearby. I'll just do there for now. Um, Alright, 
Ammo. Uh, you can actually go down here. I do want to make... Where am I going to put this? Parts, vehicle parts, fuel, and other. Let's um, hit the button <laughs> and again, a whole bunch of time goes by as he sorts and sorts and sorts like crazy. Oh boy, am I going to kill myself just sorting my piles of imp stuffs? Alright, hey, I think we actually got everything. I must have gotten every category that I currently have for stuff. Okay, food items, tools, general raw materials, uh, books, and all sorts of stuff. Medical gear, uh, 
CDMs and so on. Then we've got all of the... whoops, apparently I missed with something. Oh no, that's, yeah, that's armor. Alright, so weapons, ammo, and so on down here, because I don't need those to craft with. And I'm going to build my bed right here as well, where the armor and stuff is. Alright, so I may sort these out and move them around again sometime later, but this will work for now. Um, Alright, so that's my raw material. Hmm. All right, that'll work. Um, very hungry, very thirsty. We're not tired yet, though. Hmm, interesting. Oh, crap. I forgot I had all that meat to deal with. I just let a huge amount of time go by. I can't preserve it anyway, so it's probably not going to make that much difference. Um... Yeah, most of this is going to go bad anyway. Alright, I need another pile down here. I need a quick-to-eat pile. Sandwiches are getting old. Oh crap, that's right. I gotta. All this stuff's gonna get cold and frozen. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, that's gonna make this a pain in the ass when I wanna just move down and eat the food real fast. Um, Alright, that's inconvenient. Crap. All right, full slaked. We're not tired yet, but we got our base stuff relocated. Next thing I want to look at is what do I need to build the bed? Standard bed, two blankets, four sheets. Uh, I'd rather have that. I could make four sheets and 200 thread. Hmm. Or I can hop over to the houses here and grab it. Night raid! <laughs> ah! Hello, zombie! <laughs> That's funny. Run mode, back up, let go of the cart. <clears throat> Stupid shit. 
shady zombie. Pliers. I don't remember if I have pliers. Hmm. Cut my socks, you bastard. Yep, I <laughs> figured it would happen. We're just going to wait here and deal with the Shadies until I'm sure they're gone. Hey there, populous wild man. You're very welcome. Glad you found the tutorials useful. I think we're okay to head in now. Um, let's go ahead and grab a sheet metal. There we go. That's what I need. <laughs> a couple pillows. All right. Let's, uh, chop up a bed. did that give me anyway? 200 rags, 27 2x4s, we're not quite full yet, and also got some pillows, so we should be okay with that. Um, did I take apart all of the... Hey, sheets, that's right. Alright, that'll make my job easier. Uh, actually, that's much volume. Oh, never mind. Nope, that's good. Alright, I think that gives me everything I need. Yeah, I gotta have a shopping cart. <laughs> shopping carts are great. As long as you're careful about using them. It is slowing me down. Oops. So it's costing me 172 points to drag that shopping cart behind me. If I let go of it, it's only costing me 138. Actually, my stamina is a little low. Get back to full stamina. All right, 119 without the cart, 149. So it's costing me 30 extra movement points, which is really significant. So as long as you're aware of the negatives for using the cart um, and are careful. Okay, let's let's do the magic. I love doing the magic. Um, so drop. Actually, let's come down to where I'm gonna put the bed. All right, move all that stuff for a sec. random stuff and that's it back the card away press shift o and everything shuffles back to where it's supposed to be oh yeah all those rags are going to get moved that's going to take a while <laughs> all right there it is everything got auto moved to its correct place and now i'm tired what a surprise uh it's 1 40 in the morning uh, that's my raw material pile. Should be okay here. Let's activate the... I don't have a flashlight. Really? Actually, I don't think I need the flashlight to construct.
Alright, so we're gonna build a bed. Right where I've got the clothes. Ah, crap. Try this again. Build a bed. Alright, so we got our bed. Now we can shift all the clothes onto it. So we got plenty of stuff to snuggle up on. We got pillows and all sorts of clothing there. So that'll be a super comfortable spot to sleep. Um, got all of our gear sorted out. Alright, so I'm much happier about that. Um, three in the morning. Let's just go ahead and go to sleep. Get our healing done. Get everything locked up. Got the doors all shut. We do. Let's wake up in seven hours, please. Oh, crap. I hate how slow time passes when I have Z-Levels turned on. Alright. Well, we woke up on time. We didn't get any messages about bad uh, health factors. Actually, we didn't get any message about it. Is actually kind of weird. All right. Uh, daytime. Let's first thing go check, make sure we're. Yeah, we got more zombies in the area. They just keep showing up. All right. Nothing too scary. Found zombie first. Who else is coming? That zombie. Come on, child zombie. Come on, zombies. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, soldier zombie showed up. Um. Sixteen, thirteen. They're actually getting hits in, which I don't like. Of hits in. All right, no bites. Uh, anything else close? Shady and shady. All right, we'll go deal with them in a second. Get everything pulped real fast. Anything we missed? Twenty-seven, huh? Ah, crap! Didn't bring the cart up with me. Ah, I don't think I really need the M twenty-seven anyway. Fires two, two, three. Eat the spam right there, then. Those are far enough away, I'm not going to worry about those for now. Hey there, generic white male. Welcome back. Let's do a quick circuit around our building, though. Hey, fat zombie. Okay, let's get our food taken care of. <laughs> Frozen solid, cooked meat, love it. Um, where's our pot? I need, I really need to get that backpack cleaned up. I can't carry anything. Um,
<laughs> That's interesting. Um, okay. Did you destroy my backpack for me? Nope, still there. Interesting. Uh, I can't stand not be able to pick anything up. Um, detergent somewhere. Lots of frozen water. We're going to use our pot to defrost a huge pile of water. Uh, I think. Did I not pick up my thing of water? Nope, apparently I did not. Oh, the briefcase is preventing me. God, this is so complicated now. <laughs> Fine, do it this way. Uh, all here. Actually, that might be close enough right there. And uh, no, it's probably not. Pot go. Not gonna let me because it's too big to pick up. Damn, I hate this problem. Finally. And it takes how long? A long time. Drop. All right, finally. Where the backpack? Make sure it is on the inside. Um my crowbar back, my axe back. Yeah, this is going to be a pain in my ass.
No, I've got a working car, Stiff. Um, I got a lot of goals, but <laughs> I'm trying to get things organized here in the base real quick before I start adventuring and doing some other stuff. Uh, the freezing system's really messing with the way I normally do things. Because usually I have a massive stockpile of my food-related items that I cook with and make recipes with and so on. But then I have a separate pile I put somewhere else that I can walk over to to eat and drink real fast without having to look at this list and having to try to figure out what I'm going to eat. But if I do that, then these things are going to be frozen, and then I'm going to have to drag them back up down to the, near the fire to get them unfrozen again. So it's making my life a little more difficult. Not sure how I'm going to deal with that, because this is pretty annoying. Um... All right, so we're full. Slaked. Huh. Oh, that's right. I need to. I need to be eating all the uh, other foods to get that massive focus morale bonus from the gourmand trait. So I've already got myself full. I don't want to overstuff, even though I can as a gourmand. All right, anything else I need to do with the water? Um, how much more detergent do I have? None? I have 11. Kevlar vest. Let's grab the Kevlar vest, get it cleaned up as well. Oops. Now we got some torso encumbrance. 36 actually isn't too bad. And considering we've got a turnout coat and a Kevlar vest, that will render our torso, well, only 85% coverage on the Kevlar vest, so occasionally 15% of the time a shot will get through. But 85% of the time, we're totally immune for torso damage from regular zombies with that combo. Um, temperature's fine. Head, we're actually doing pretty good. We got 10 points there. Not the best, but that'll cover most of the standard damage. And only seven points of bash, so that's not the best. I need to get arm protection and leg protection, really. That's a little harder to do without also getting torso protection. Um, let's drop the shirt. Make a trench coat. That'll give us 2-2 two, two with some more storage. 7 encumbrance. That's torso and arms, but not leg. Not going to go with the gant. Well... Hmm. Maybe I will go with a gambeson. It's 5-5. Five, five. Only seven encumbrance, and it covers torso, arms, and legs. So we're going to hit a little less often because of our torso encumbrance, but we're raising our melee and such skills pretty quickly to offset that. Uh, it's 30 warmth, though. I think that's going to be the problem. It's going to be too warm. Yeah, that's too warm. Especially as we're getting later in the spring and heading into summer. Mm, light survivor suit. I could do if I had the duct tape. But I'm holding out for full survivor suit as soon as I can get one more level of skill. Scrap suit. 18 encumbrance. I don't think so. Head, torso, arms, and legs. I don't think it would let me actually wear it because of the head. <laughs> Wool suit. Definitely not.
Um, I think I'll go with the duster. Torso, arms, and legs gets me another couple of points and some storage. So let's go for it. <laughs> All right, how bad off are we? Ooh, 49. Youch, that's more than I wanted. Uh, that's right, the duster's conflicting with the torso, or the uh, turnout coat. If it was just the 42, I'd go for it, but 49... Actually, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to leave it that way for the moment. We're going to try it this way for a little bit. See just how much missing we do. The extra protection is pretty substantial. Eh, two and two. I don't may, may not be worth it. That's a lot of encumbrance for uh, two points of protection. I'll think about it. More importantly, it gets us a couple more points on these other locations. And like I said, ideally I'm going to try to get to the survivor suit here. I just need another level of, uh, I think, tailoring. Um, actually, I might be able to do... I wonder if I can get the skill up from repairing... Kevlar Vest? Don't have a tailor suit, tailor set yet. Sewing kit. Force it, six percent success. Go ahead and do that. Gathering is seven percent now. Nope, that's gonna fail, of course. Alright, so we've got the backpack fully repaired and reinforced. That's very, very valuable. Uh, tailoring didn't move, so that wasn't enough, or high enough level. The Kevlar is uh, metal, so that's not going to work. Either retro. Yeah, everything I can make is going to take things I don't have. Hmm. And also, huge amounts of time. That's the other problem. Is the other reason I'm trying to get some uh, leather patches. Lots of leather patches. I'm trying to get some books just to get some better recipe choices for these skill ups. Um trying to remember, do I have tools my carrying? Pliers, wrench, hammer, screwdriver set. Let's run up to this car real quick. Can I disassemble this chair now? Need a... Uh, still don't have the hacksaw. That's the problem. Don't have the metal quick cutting yet. Four o'clock. Zombie in sight. Come here, zombie. Test my hit percentage with my uh, 49 torso encumbrance. Hit twice in a row. Hey there, zombie dog. Another thing. Oh, this will be a harder one because he's uh, small and fast. This would be a better test. Miss. Miss. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. A whole lot of missing. Only need one hit, but uh, it's a whole lot of missing. But, as you can see here, 
bites your armor, bites your right arm, but fails to penetrate, fails to penetrate, fails to penetrate. So doesn't matter if it takes you eight or ten swings if you never take any damage. So. All right, let's get back to things here. Um, I think I'm done with this, so let's get this moved back up to the funnel. All right. So I think we'll stay with what I've got right now. Um, nah, it's not likely he's going to break any of the armor. I don't know what the actual percentage chances are of damage occurring to the uh, armor. I've never looked into that particular mechanic to determine uh, when your armor is actually damaged. Um, Alright, sun's about to go down. So we can't... Actually, do I want to make a night run up to St. John? This actually might be a... Uh, I, I need diesel fuel. Taking food and water with me, it just ends up freezing, and I can't actually do anything with it. So let's get ourselves full and slaked again. I'm debating whether I want to drag the cart out this way and then head up north. Still got a lot of this town, Brattleboro, that I haven't actually looted yet, but uh, most of the buildings I care about have already been in. I remember over here there was the pharmacy, there's an ambulance, and there's a couple of houses, but uh, there were some monsters over there I didn't want to deal with at the time. That's about it. There's no bookstores, there's an antique store and a museum that'd be nice, but uh, beyond that, there's not really much left in here that I care about. Um, night Raid or not. Let's do it. Let's do a Night Raid. 1600. Um, Get a few other things done here in the base real quick, and then we'll do it. Uh, weapons? I don't think I've got the opportunity to really change up weapons yet. Farm guards are way too encumbering. <laughs> Good old tentacle sleeves. All right, any books I can read? And first aid five for that. So electronics. Let's just read for a little bit, then we'll take off. Okay, with my two bandages and 13 aspirin, that's the sum total of my uh, medical gear. Off we go. Actually go out this way. There was a shocker brute out north of these houses when I first came out this way. <laughs> hey there, zombie. Well, that didn't take long. Hey, we got some uh, poor man's antibiotic. So we got some disinfectant. We got the smaller or lesser of the antibiotics. Better than nothing. Something whomping away up in the house. 
This is that campsite. Where's the road? All right, so we're up to the road. How do I want to do this? So the main sites I want to hit are the bookstore here. I don't think there was anything else I cared about other than the houses as a possibility. And then over here, we've got a doctor's office, electronics store, and the shooting range, and the school. Let's go ahead and head up this way first. We'll see if I can get to these houses and then work my way up into that bookstore without too much danger. Uh, no night vision and <laughs> a 10 perception. All right, safe mode is on, and I uh, really hope I don't find a land uh, minefield the hard way. Running around at night sucks. <laughs> this could be a random death by minefield. All right, straight north now. Standard zombie. Still getting good hit percentages against the standard zombies. God, we're tired. Damn it. <laughs> that I did not need. We slept till 10 a.m. Uh, guess it has been 11 hours. But still, that's kind of annoying. All right, maybe I'm just going to do these houses in the bookstore and then have to head back. Maybe I'll try to creep into that, but I'm not going to get the other ones done all in one night. Hey there, Populous Wild Man. Um, you can use the challenge command, which a couple of people have already done. That explains exactly what I'm trying to do with this particular playthrough. I always try to have some kind of uh, goal to work towards or a, a win condition for my playthroughs. I don't play pure sandbox with no real focus. All right. Um... Hey there, Scouser. So, we're coming up on that house. I do want to check houses. Still some things I can very much get that are, whoops, not too far, that are useful. Um, yeah, let's... This is, oh, it's a house with a, a workshop out back, I think. One more, and a 60 liter tank. Hmm. A brick kiln. Uh, sure, we'll take the lamp oil. 